So here's the uh, B box from the front. It's um, this smallish form factor uh, Core XY printer, um, 180 by 180 build volume for X and Y. Z is depending on how you build it, but this is about almost 180. Could be a little bit more if I made some adjustments. So just think of it as a 180 cube. Um, 2020 extrusion, clear panel. Um, I'm using solid panels for the side. This is just the hardboard that you see, white panels, whiteboards really, whiteboard paneling. Uh, these little pieces right here hold it in place. They're taken from the Tiny M project. I just uh, adjusted them to fit uh, with how the corner pieces are connected. Otherwise, these screws would actually hit the, uh, those little uh, connectors. Uh, simple. I'm going to probably paint this or just leave it be. Top is, you can't see it, but it's just cardboard right now. Um, it's got a mishmash of uh, different little uh, colors because, you know, this was a prototype. The hinges, I found a design on Thingiverse and then I just remade it. So that way the door would open and it opens a little bit more than 180 degrees. It's kind of cool that way. Um, can also come off these pins. Come off if you really wanted to just have it open, you can do that. Little magnets keep the door shut, but I really like these um, boron hinges um, or latches. The boron latches are pretty cool. They're um, I'll put I'll put a link to them, but I'm pretty sure they're used for the boron series of printers. Um, really kind of cool. Basically, just latch like that. Keep it in place. You could use these to affix all clear panels. For the sides instead of uh, what I'm doing here. I like the whiteboard, hardboard um, panels. Uh, they really brighten up your view. You can really see your prints. Uh, it's really super nice. As I mentioned, this is uh, my first one. It's really a prototype. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I believe I'll be building more, I hope. But to describe it, it uses dual belted Z's, the Z drive. Uh, three points of constraint linear rod there, there, and there. Simple triangle. The bed is a simple T-frame. There's the short part of the T, there's the long part of the T. And so it raises up, it's pretty solid. Uses a, a BMG clone extruder. It's Bowden. So, um, surprisingly though, the I only need about 0.9 or one millimeter of, re of retraction. That's quite a bit different than say like a four or five, maybe six for some. Bowden printers. The filament that you print with uh, is meant to be stored inside the box, which is great because here I'm using uh, Polymaker ABS. Uh, this is this prints like a dream when it comes to printing ABS parts. Um, it sticks to, to the bed. It doesn't warp. Um, I don't know if it's Polymaker or the combination of this little PEI sheet or just the fact that it's enclosed. No drafts. Uh, it does get warm, but not super hot. It'll get like 45 degrees, maybe more. I have a cheap uh, a temperature sensor, a thermometer there. Um, anything else? Uh, uses linear rods for X as well as Y. Um, this motion system that you see here is based off of uh, Squirrel Brain's uh, Prusa Mini to Core XY project, which evolved to become the Satsuma. It's a really nice motion system. Uh, it's normally meant to be uh, on the bottom of the top extrusion, but I reworked it so that way I could use it down here uh, and have it fully enclosed. I, li I like that a lot because I like printers that have nothing in front, no belts, no extrusion, uh, but it's fully enclosed. I don't need a top hat. It just fits. I just made it this way. I just made it one piece. There's some clever things that I'm doing here. Um, at least I think they're clever. The plexiglass that you see here is actually standard 12 by 16 uh, inches, 12 by 16 inches. And I size the extrusion so that way I would have just the right amount of overlap that I that I liked uh, uh, between the vertical uprights. Didn't have to cut it. 
it's you know you can cut panels but if you can just use them as is that's that's pretty nice um what else is there um yeah linear rods are nice they're they're very affordable um i'm reusing a lot of parts this bed the springs the plate that it's on all of that was taken from a kp3s printer so it reduces the amount of time and money that you would spend you know buying miscellaneous bits and pieces you know like um the springs or silicone spacers and printing out knobs or buying knobs so it's really meant to just be an easier to build uh very good performance core xy printer i mentioned that the motion system is based off of squirrel brain's design but i also wanted to point out that uh, i'm leveraging as much as i can of other designs that i found on thingiverse which i will provide the links to because uh, it's, I think it's important to um, attribute like your inspiration or your sources, um, because people have uh, shared their time and energy and their work, uh, which is amazing. It's a great community. So you know, shout out to everyone who um, does that and shares it with, uh, well, with us, so that we can do even more fun things. The claw duct example right here was taken from a project, which was taken from another project. Um, and I think I was able to trace it down to where it originally came from. Hopefully I, I find the right um, person for that or the right or, uh, origin for that. Um, but I adapted it to work. Um, these um, <laughs> these little Z carriages, these, these brackets that hold the uh, LM8UU um, bearings, they're beefy, they're, they're hefty. Uh, I have a shortened version there. I'm actually not using these on the next iteration, but this was great. It helped me um, build this. These little corner clamps, the really uh, strong corner clamps, They're, they come in different sizes. Again, so much of this is available from people who shared their hard work. Um, so big shout out to all of you. Uh, I wish I could say their names off the top of my head, but I will provide links. Thank you again um, for all of you who, who do this, uh, sharing their, their cool stuff. Didn't stop it in time, but I think it's less than 13 minutes. We can always look at the video. Shoot. Hot, hot plate. Stick it over here. It might need to let this cool a little bit. Before we can really look at it. Can't seem to focus. I'm going to switch the camera mode. 